Hi everyone, welcome to a new series. This is going to be on the A57 Link Roads project over in the east of Greater Manchester, more commonly known as Mottram Bypass. This bypass is very much long awaited in the local area and for the wider community as well, because the M67 was originally supposed to carry on through to Sheffield, but it actually ends at Junction 4, which then provides a massive bottleneck around the area of Mottram. It's the same on the other end of the M67, this is down at Denton Island. You can see clearly from above where the carriageway was supposed to carry on through to city centre Manchester and straight down the A57 to join the A57 brackets M, Mancunian Way. From this video today we'll have a look at what work is actually taking place at the moment. We're going to look at the houses that are going to be demolished in preparation for the works. And we'll have a look also where the road is going to end over towards Glossop. So this is junction 4 of the M67 and this is where the bypass is going to start and it's going to come off basically the middle of the picture there. It's going to work its way backwards towards Mottram. So I've got this picture here from National Highways Online and it's showing the 50 mile an hour dual carriageway coming off and it crosses over the fields goes under row cross road and old road so you can see here we've got the compound in sight that Valflower BT are using at the moment there's not much going on on the actual line of the road so what we'll do we'll cross over now towards row cross road and have a look what's happening at that end so on row cross road at the moment this is actually going to be what they're going to call Mottram underpass so I think it's going to be a cut and cover section here where they dig down put the, the new bypass under and then cover it up again so we're looking towards the a57 and the m67 terminal roundabout so a little bit of a zoom in there so that's the way the road's going to come through where them trees are just looking over to the left you can see these houses what are ready for demolishing that is actually in a street called forward lanes so let's nip down there now but so it looks like there's at least three buildings being demolished on this road here. We've got a couple of bungalows and I think it possibly was a bungalow but quite a large one over here as well. So this is to provide access for the underpass what's going to run round the back. So you can see the houses in four lanes at the bottom of the picture now. The road is going to continue through where the works barriers are. So as you can see also some more houses that are going to be demolished so let's have a quick look at them now so it's crossed over now so we're looking now towards old lane and that's the three of the bungalows that are going to be demolished so they've already made a start internally on them i think mad to think that a 50 mile an hour dual carriageway is going to be underneath this Just on old lane now, and this is looking at the front of the bungalows that are due to demolish the back of which you've just seen. Then we cross over the road, there's these houses that are due to be demolished as well. You can see they made quite a big start on these at the moment, getting them plant machinery and etc. So just over the top of old road now. We can see the, the houses that I've just shown you are in the bottom of the picture. The road's going to continue through to Old, old Hall Lane. So there's a few more houses that are due to be demolished on that section as well. So I'll come round to Old Hall Lane now. So just having a walk down, you can see further down that the road's now blocked off completely. So that can't disappear because I've got a dog with me. So if you go further down, see this house on the left, due to be demolished. These are the ones that you can see in the back with the drone frottage. So it looks like this one on the right is actually going to stay. But these cottages further down, are due to be demolished. You've already got security site, a 2D2 thing there. I think that one further down with the 
17.26. He's going to stare. Yeah, I'll change. On Motter and Moore now, this is looking towards Manchester. M67, etc. As you can tell, even though it's a weekend evening, stupidly busy. So I think we can all agree that the bypass is needed. So we're just looking towards Old Lane, etc. This is where it's going to be coming through. So not a lot happening at the moment. Just looking down towards the gloss up side. See there, they've got the works traffic already in place. So I'm guessing it's going to be coming through round right about here. Don't seem to be much happening at the moment, but send the drone up and have a look at it from above. So I've got the A57 Motter and Moor at the bottom there. Now the only thing I've noticed here is a little bit of a compound. But in the fields, it looks like they've actually made a start, I think they may call it a haul road, where they're actually are going along the line of what is going to be the road and carving it out. Because this don't think this was here before. So there's not really a lot to see, but apart from just where they've took the machinery over the fields at this point. So on the A57 now, this is where the bypass is going to end. Obviously nothing to see at the moment. So just looking at it from the drone, we've got the A57 at the bottom there. You can see the line of the road. They're going to need a couple of bridges over these rivers and looking towards Mottram from above now. It's difficult to see off the maps, but I think it is going to be coming out more or less opposite these new homes what have been built. So, I'll keep an eye on the project. So, if you can, keep an eye on the channel. If you like, subscribe and share, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again in the next one. Thanks, everyone.